How's it going Capricorn? This is your Love Tarot reading for March 2016. Well, it looks as though uh, some of you Capricorns may have ended a relationship due to uh, some type of addictive behavior. If it's not drinking, drugs, or a gambling situation, I'm feeling it has to do with jealousy. Uh, there has been a lot of patience in this relationship, but things have not changed. So right now, I feel a huge separation. Um, I'm also getting that there were differences uh, between the families and differences on how you viewed uh, relationships. But what Spirit is telling me here and what the cards are speaking to me is there is another relationship coming, Capricorn. And as soon as you feel or I should say release this uh, X, um, I do feel that something new is coming for you and it will surprise you. It will surprise you because you'll be surprised how uh, quickly you moved out of the past and also um, uh, found someone new. Uh, it's been really a tug of war for some of you, just like, ugh, I don't know, this relationship did not turn out well did it and it's caused you a lot of pain and aggravation i'm also getting that actually maybe some of you capricorns too may have an addiction issue that you need healing on okay in order to move on into a, another relationship um so uh just listening here for more messages in regards to this. I'm feeling though for some of you that if there is some type of either therapy or healing work done, that perhaps uh, there is... Um, no, Spirit is saying no. No, I don't feel this relationship will come back together. I, I don't. I feel like there has been so much that has happened here um, that, uh, well, okay, it's a possibility if the two of you uh, seek some counseling. Uh, but the partner, whether it be you or the other person, uh, really needs to step forward and... Um, you know, want to heal. I don't feel that they want to heal right now. I feel they're quite comfortable in uh, whatever addiction pattern they're in, and they always feel that they're right. I'm going to pull some more cards because that was such prominent, it was so prominent in the reading. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't give me an opportunity to see what else here is happening for uh, Capricorns. What are the messages spirit for Capricorn beyond the messages already given? Yeah, there is, um, I'm feeling that another love is coming and Right, I feel that you'll be hesitant at first to get involved because of all the, um, some of the situations you've been through recently. But I, you know, I, I'm getting a message here too. Um, I don't mean to sound negative here, but I just got to give the messages of the cards. I'm feeling also, boy, these cards just fell out. That you need to watch for the signs on this new love. I, I'm getting that perhaps um, they may be hanging around because you've got something to offer besides you personally. Uh, this could be money. This could be stability. Yeah. This. So walking into this new relationship, Capricorn, you need to be really careful here. Uh, eyes open. Ears listening. You know, listen to your intuition. Go beyond, you know, how you're feeling as far as, you know, wanting a love in your life. You know, I'm also getting uh, something to do with a father. 
Um, and this could be either for both sexes, female caps or male caps, but I'm getting there's an issue with uh, a father. Um, I'm, I'm getting, I'm feeling that some of the addiction issues uh, stem from a father figure. Uh, per, oh, wow, these cards are falling all over the place here. Hang on. Yeah, so I'm feeling that um, this is a father figure who has just uh, on and off gotten involved in your relationships. And it's not, um, you know, I, I don't feel it's in a healthy way. I feel that he can be judgmental and um, just, you know, always saying negative things in regards to, you know, the, the relationships that you have in your life. And, um, you know, spirit is saying that this is something you need to heal, that you can still be connected to your father, but you can't, you know, you shouldn't let this absorb. I mean, you shouldn't absorb it. It's early in the morning here. Um, because it's affecting you psychologically. Okay. And a lot of it is unconscious and it comes up and plays in your relationship. And so there you get stuck and then your, your relationship ends because there's too much of your father voice uh, in your relationship. What I'm getting here, um, you know, I'm getting a, a young relationship here and perhaps there is a child involved here and... Um, you know, right now it seems as though you are not um, conversing that much. That there is uh, a distance between the two of you because there's anger and disappointment. But I feel that um, this relationship has an opportunity. I'm on to another relationship here. This relationship has an opportunity to uh, grow. But I, I feel that you need to focus and spend more time on the differences that you have. I know that you want him or her to see your point, but it's got to be vice versa also. Okay? So, what else universe for Cap? I'm hearing from Spirit... A message for many Capricorns is to just move on and not worry about um, your future I, I feel there's a lot of worry about your future you know in regards to love and family but I'm getting the message from beyond that it's all going to be okay and to stop focusing so much on your future and work towards the present moment. Be in the present so that will help determine your future. Okay, I'm just going to pull, see what's happening with these cards. Yeah, I'm just feeling that worrying. Yeah, you know, I'm getting from the angels that you need to free yourself from this. Free yourself from worrying about love. Free, your, free yourself about um, the past. And just sort of like go out and explore again. Okay, there needs to be, though, a lot of forgiving here. Uh, this is more for you than the person or event that you need to forgive. Because this is going to free you up to find your soulmate. Why? Because soulmates, uh, they can't have a good relationship if we're carrying so much luggage. Okay, and for some soulmates, and we have many soulmates, so for some soulmates, they can't join back together again because 
you know, the walls and the chemistry, it has actually been so distorted that, you know, soulmates move on to other things because they have other uh, lessons. And yeah, I was right about that chemistry. Um, they have other lessons here that uh, they need to uh, go through and missions. So they can't be just... Uh, sitting in stagnation, you know, worrying about this relationship. But I, the message here, too, is Capricorn, uh, things will get better when you have a change of perception, a change of thought and perception about your life and about your future. And the only way you're going to change that is right now in the present moment. Okay, I don't know, I am keep getting guided towards that, that some of you Capricorns, you know, the past has been, all the way back to your childhood, has been a little rough. Um, and this also goes for moon and rising in Capricorn, oh, as well as all my other signs, um, other readings, I mean, I do for Zodiac. Yeah, I feel that, and there's the engagement card, I feel that actually... Once you come out of this, you're heading right actually to a marriage. There's no big, huge waiting time between your healing and moving forward. I feel that you will find the person that you love very deeply that it helps balance you um, and supports you and understands you. And I, and I just feel that, um, yeah, there's just really good bonding here. Okay, so, you know, hang in there. Um, heal your family issues. Actually, from childhood. Free yourself. Beautiful things coming. Free yourself. Big theme here. That's where I hear the angels' music. Free yourself. Free yourself. And I placed it right over free yourself. <laughs> okay, Capricorn. I believe these are the messages for you for March 2016. Some of you will resonate. Others will not. Uh, that's how I deliver my messages. Um, and stay tuned because if this didn't resonate with you check your moon and your rising and also stay tuned because maybe next month the message will have something to do with you but for the ones that this message was and resonated with many blessings to you I am supportive 100% that you can do this that you can clear your past and walk from it blessings